So in this video, what we're going to do is contrast uh, Vault Professional 2011 and 2012, and we're going to perform the same actions in, in both environments and uh, take a look at uh, improvements made to file resolution and overall performance inside of 2012. So in this case, we're going to take a file called base sketch and we're going to do something simple that uh, users do every day and we're going to move it. So here we go. We're going to move this to another folder and again these are both uh, identical vaults. It's the same vault. Notice that 2012 it's done. It just moved. Note that in 2011 one of the things that we were doing was healing all of the immediate parents. Now this base sketch, this is a skeletal uh, sketch. So this is actually the, the lowest on the food chain. So as we move that, it's going in and updating all of these other references. So everywhere that that base sketch is used, it is now uh, going in and making peace with essentially, you know, checking out, checking in, and versioning up the immediate parent of all those. So take a look at that. It's a, a 10x improvement over that. Now, um, if that base sketch is used in even more designs, it takes even longer, but it will take the same time in Vault Professional 2012. So let's take the next step and uh, contrast and take a look at the add-in. So uh, when I go and take a look at the Inventor add-in, and I'm going to open up the same assembly. Uh, so one is Inventor 2012 with Vault Professional 2012, and the other one is 2011, respectively. I'm taking a look at the browser, and we'll do a checkout on both. We'll just check check out the top level assembly, or check out the frame rather. And now let's go back inside a vault, and we're going to do something else. We're actually going to go in and rename. This is something that, again, customers do all the time. In addition to move, they rename files. So we'll go through the rename wizard, and we'll give it a new name. Notice that in the 2011, it's telling me all the places where this is going to change. Also sh showing me in red down there, it's not liking this. It's essentially saying you can't do that. It's There's an immediate parent that's checked out. Notice on the right, Vault Professional is already done with it. We've already been able to rename, and this is a significant improvement. So more than just a performance, we have a workflow improvement here. Being able to just go in and rename, so in inside of 2012, and you will see in a couple minutes. Um, the workflow back in 2011 is to go undo the checkout inside of the vault, put everything back, proceed with the rename. Like the move command, when you go in and rename and assign it a new name, it's going to go in and make changes to all of the immediate parents. So we'll, again, we'll use the same name, update the part number, and you can see it iterating through and repairing all of the references everywhere that it's used. So now let's switch back into Inventor and you notice know, Vault uh, the 2012 was just sitting there idling and as we go back in to 2011 we can see that it's still using the same um, old name base sketch inside of 2012 all we have to do is update uh, or refresh and we pull in the new name master sketch back in 2011 we have to essentially stop and do another get we actually have to pull from the vault the updated information and again we'll get a message saying that it's going to be refreshed and what we find is oftentimes users will just say okay, I'm just going to close it down and open it up again. They'll, they'll close what they're doing, something that they had in session, close it just to go in, in, back in and open it up. So now opening it up inside of 2011 and going and browsing down, there's the right file. But what we've seen is the total working time over on the right was... Uh, you know, two minutes, ten seconds, but that's what the important part here is the disruption of workflow. So uh, again, significant improvements in move, rename, and then just overall uh, experience for the CAD user that's using Autodesk Vault.